Okay, folks, today I will be showing you how to quilt an elephant. And we are starting off with this um, plastic ruler device, which uh, just makes a straight edge while quilting. We're coming up on a mitered corner, so we'll have to stop and Craig's jig this, as you can see. And um, here's how that goes. Oh, actually, we're just we're just gonna sew that. Actually, no glue needed. You just keep on going. And um, not sure if you can tell on here or not, but uh, I've actually drawn lines because I'm too incompetent to actually know where the border goes on this. And I believe X O is actually a um, an old Spanish tale for hugs and kisses or something of the sort but so I digress we keep on with our uh, Craig's jig corners here um, I chose to go with a mitered corner as opposed to just a butt joint because I like the look now you just take this yellow piece of fabric and put some alligator clamps on it and really like how that looks so we're just gonna take a break because I'm a little tired we'll start up in a second here <clears throat> all right now we're just gonna do some uh, horizontal swirly gigs of fire here um, just reminds me of uh, fire as I said, horizontal, as opposed to the traditional vertical flames. So you just put this little puppy in a pit of fire. I think that looks really nice. And once you come up to a point on the uh, elefante, I believe is what they call them, uh, you just start to outline it. It doesn't really matter what you do here. You can't even see my thread anyways, so we're just going to go ahead and stitch in the ditch and just do an outline around it and um, fun fact about elefantes they were actually used for hunting in Africa quite a bit which is where the how to pistol came about because you would be lion hunting and uh, they would come up close and you would need a good double barreled large bore pistol to actually shoot them and you put the wang on the elephant down here, so don't forget to do that when you're going in between the legs there. As it is a boy elephant, as you can clearly see now. And it's <clears throat> eating some grass, so you put that in its mouth there and just continue on the outline of the <coughs> excuse me. Elephant. And now we just keep on with the swirly gigs here, and uh, this is actually replicating the aerodynamic elements of the elephant. I am mimicking what the wind currents would be like in a wind tunnel around an elephant, and as you can see, they're not a very aerodynamic animal, but um, hey, they still make great little quilt pieces. We don't have to worry about that wind drag here. And now we're just going around and putting the stink lines around the, the butt of the elephant. As you can see, it still has some strings of dung coming off of the tail. And quilting can get pretty graphic, so. And you just put this little happy camper back in its pit of flames. And um, you're pretty much done at this point. All that you really have to do is go ahead and tie off and put the last stitch in the fire go ahead and cut those strings you're good to go and thanks for watching guys there's my elephant and my invisible thread so just use silky so fine and you'll be good